thinking about how Mundelein Seminary is fulfilling Cardinal Mundelein's dreams is a, is a very interesting question. My, my short answer would be yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because what he was after was something that would form the ministers of his local church and beyond. And that we have done, that we have done. It was part of his vision to have well-educated priests. Uh, I, I use the expression good, holy, and competent priests to describe what the goal of Mundelein Seminary is, is to produce men who have those three qualities uh, in abundance and who are able to really um, use them uh, for the good of the ministry. Um, and you've got to have almost equal parts. Uh, you know, somebody who's just competent, that doesn't help you. You need goodness, you need holiness, you need competence uh, together. I would say that uh, the, the uniqueness of Mundelein's program has always been the way um, the academic studies, which are very strong, I'm the academic uh, you know, uh, officer of the university, I have to say that, but they do it with one eye towards the parish. And then secondarily is the idea of integration, that everything we do is to integrate the four dimensions of theology, the human, the, the spiritual, the intellectual, and the pastoral. Um, with the pastoral really being the, the place that it all comes together. Uh, Father Karchi and his revisions of the curriculum over the last uh, you know, five, six years has very much emphasized this integration that you know, what you do in sacramental theology class has to integrate with what's happening in the other dimension. And that I think is, is the, the place that we would be distinctive uh, with this emphasis on integration. What I'm most proud of of my association with Mundelein, I would have to say the pilgrimage program would be the first. I've made 15 trips to the Holy Land and uh, that remains uh, one of the things I'm proudest of uh, doing, even though I, I didn't invent it and I didn't, uh, you know, uh, I didn't do more than just what any faculty member does in contributing to it. Uh, but I consider that to be one of the real one of the real things that I'm, I'm proud of from having been here. Oh, my hopes for Mundelein Seminary for the future. Um, to continue what we're doing, because I think we have uh, developed a couple of unique capacities with the pilgrimage, with the affective formation, um, with the um, integration types of things, that I think are poised to really take seminary education a next step. You know, my training compared to the training when I came back 20 years later uh, was really a light year different. Well, I think we're at the point of making another kind of quantum step forward uh, there with, with training. And so um, my hope is that we can solidify those gains that we've made, particularly in the pilgrimage and the... Uh, um, the affective maturity um, place and the integration. If we can solidify all of those and build them you know, towards that next step of that integrated uh, person, then I think you know, we'll, we'll be ready for uh, an amazing contribution. Um, it's amazing right now, but it'll be even more amazing once we get to that. So that's what I see as my hope uh, for the seminary is that it, it takes the things that it's doing, but it really uh, manages to, to pull these couple of things together. Because if it can do that, we will spring out ahead.